I wanted to create a video on A1C and its accuracy. Um, it's definitely a great test to do as part of your evaluation, but don't put all your eggs in that one basket because of several reasons. Basically, it's how much glucose that's sticking to your red blood cells over time. So it's an average of blood sugars for like three months. So if you have high sugar in your blood and it combines with the protein, the red blood cell, they can measure it through a test called A1C. Or it's called hemoglobin A1C. Now, if it's 6.5 or, or more, that would correlate to a fasting blood glucose test of 126 milligrams per deciliter, and that would be diabetes. Uh, also, if it's this high, there's also a correlation with increased retinopathy, which is damage to the retina. And they also found if you decrease it just by 1%, your death rate goes down from diabetes by 27%. Your microvascular complications, the problems in the eye, and also the feet, the, the vascular system to the nerves of your toes and your fingers and your eye, uh, goes down by 37%. Uh, also, myocardial infarction uh, goes down by 14%. Now, here's the problem when you measure A1C. If you're anemic, and by the way, 30% of the population is anemic, this is gonna be invalid. It's gonna alter the test. If you have sickle cell, that will also invalidate the test because there's a problem with the shape of your red blood cell. If you have an iron disease, it's gonna alter the A1C test. But what's even worse than that is this. The red blood cells die a lot sooner in a diabetic than they do a healthy person. So the turnover rate for red blood cells for a diabetic is 81 days versus someone that's healthy, it's 146 days. So if you're measuring the red blood cells with a shorter period of exposure to glucose, it can dramatically affect what shows up on the A1C results because it's all about how long those red blood cells are exposed to glucose in your blood. Better tests would be fasting glucose or post-meal glucose or HOMA IR. This is probably one of the best. This will measure insulin resistance. There's been a handful of people who ask me this question. They keep showing up high blood sugar in the morning, yet they're also showing high ketones, okay, at the same time. So how could you actually have high blood sugar, or let's say it's 100 or 105, and ketones? That's impossible, right? Well, there's something called the dawn phenomena, which occurs usually in the first part of the day where your blood sugars are high. And that's coming from certain hormones like cortisol, growth hormone, glucagon, adrenaline. Your body is actually generating that glucose several different ways. It's turning something called the glycerol in the fat or triglycerides into glucose. It's turning certain protein into glucose. It's even turning ketones in the glucose. So here you are, you have this high sugar in the morning, and you're like, what is going on? I'm not consuming a lot of sugar. Well, that's called gluconeogenesis. This means new. This means the generation or creation of. So it's the making of new glucose. But why? Because you've had this condition for quite a while called insulin resistance. Insulin resistance basically is a protective mechanism that your body develops from having excess amount of insulin. So, and this takes a while to correct. It could take even up to a year or a little bit longer. But think about this. If your cells are resisting insulin and insulin controls glucose, you're not able to pull that glucose inside the cell. So your body's in the state where it's sensing low sugar, so it keeps making more and more, even if you don't consume sugar. It has to do with the feedback sensing loops uh, because you have insulin resistance. Usually when you measure the fasting glucose later in the day, it improves. This usually happens only in the morning, primarily because you, if you look at the rhythm of certain hormones, cortisol spikes at eight o'clock in the morning. So that is probably a big part of it. I would not worry about this. This is a transitional phase. If you went out and did some exercise, it would burn off this sugar. All this means is you had this one condition, insulin resistance chronically, and it's gonna take a while to fix. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now, and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.